Hello fellow editors, I am Eddie from MotionRate.com and today I have a short but very cool tutorial that will maybe help you out in the future. You know that time where you find a perfect shot for your edit and everything is working great but then your client maybe comes back and says hey you know that shot's great and all but that logo can't be there and I am talking about this logo over here right? So whenever you have a moving shot like this, it used to be a real pain to get that out of there, but not anymore. I am going to show you a quick and easy way to get rid of it. Check this out. I am going to go over here to where it says video effects and I am going to choose a blur, fast blur, and I'm going to drop that in there. Now I'm going to go to the first frame. And now I am going to use this tool over here, the free draw Bessier. When I click on it, see it automatically created a mask. I am just going to draw a mask roughly around this logo. And now I am going to use this over here, which will effectively track this mask forward. You can see that the mask is now following this logo. Alright, the track is done. I am going to put this back to 100. And you can see that the mask is following the motion. So now I'm going to blur it. And right away I am hiding that logo. But I want to take this a little bit further. Let me click on the shot again and see here's our fast blur. I'm going to do some color correction on it too. Here we go. I like using curves so I'm going to drop the curves over here. And before I do anything I'm going to grab the mask from our fast blur. I'm going to copy it and then go to the curves and I am going to paste and you see it pasted the mask that I used for the fast blur now on the RGB curves now I think what I want to do is first make this completely black now I'm going to use a tint and drop a tint in there and Again, I'm going to now grab the mask, hit copy and go to the tint and paste that in there. Now for the black, I'm going to choose this orange over here. Now you can see an edge there, right? But let me show you how to get rid of that. For the white on the tint, I'm also going to pick that same orange. And then on the RGB curves, I'm going to feather that a lot more. And look what's going on. Just gets rid of the edge there. Now I see a little bit of an edge there too towards the end. So I am going to go to the fast blur and maybe expand the mask a little bit. Maybe to a 10. And the same expansion, I want to use it for the tint. Select this and do 10. Yeah. Maybe that's too much, right? Because it's kind of overlapping the edge of the... So let's do, let's do 5. And sorry, you have to do it for the fast blur too. So I'm going to do 5 there. One last thing I want to do is maybe this orange is a little too bright because maybe I picked it from up here when it maybe it should be right next to this. So let me select that orange there and I can see that it matched it a lot better. Let me do the same with the one in the bottom. Yeah, there you go. Now this isn't perfect, right? You can see that um, maybe there's some edges there if you really carefully look at it but you know for most jobs 
uh, it would be really hard for people to notice that stuff. So that's it. I hope you find this stuff useful. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. Thanks.